Today, we are going to take you to one of the most popular hot pot places right now in Hong Kong, the Drunken Pot. The restaurant has very lively atmosphere with some funky decorations. It seems quite new and modern. Although the hostess was quite unfriendly, the overall service was okay. I guess you can't really expect too much service from a hot pot restaurant in Hong Kong. One great thing about this restaurant is the variety of soup bases you can choose from. So we chose the Sichuan soup base, the truffle soup base, the preserved vegetable pork stomach and pepper soup base, as well as the pork bone broth soup base. One of the fun parts about eating hot pot is that you can tailor and make your very own sauce. From chili to soy sauce, scallions, garlic, whatever you wish, this is mine. They have a button where you can press any time to call the waiter, very Japanese. First, we ordered the Chinese herbal sweet and sour drink, which was pretty good. The restaurant does try to be creative with the menu, for example, the different colored dumplings, the penguin cuttlefish, which is quite cute, the different colored meatballs, as well as ink squid sausages. We ordered the truffle with shrimp and crab meat dumplings, as well as the cuttlefish with cheese. They were both pretty good. And then we also ordered the pork neck meat, which was quite tender, even if you overcook by accident, which happens a lot in hot pot. We also ordered the premium Angus beef, which was very fresh and tender as well. We also like the presentation very much. There are some misses, however. For example, the deep fried chili pepper cuttlefish looks so much better in the picture on the menu than real life, as well as the bean curd with seedweed wasn't crunchy enough. The bill comes down to about 400 Hong Kong dollars per person, which is a little bit pricey. The average price for hot pots in Hong Kong nowadays Overall, we do recommend trying this restaurant once, especially during the winter time.